Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about my handbag storage. I do want to go into how I clean my handbags, so how I clean my leather, how I clean my canvas handbags. I also want to go into how I stuff my handbags so that they keep their shape while they're being stored in my closet. Um, I've had quite a few people ask how um, my closet storage and how my handbag storage and everything has changed since I remodeled my closet. So you guys know that I did remodel my closet several months back. I did it with California Closets. They did such an amazing job. I'm obsessed with my closet. I'm constantly changing it and it's kind of like evolving into what it is today. If you guys want to check out kind of the evolution, I have a remodel closet video. I have a closet tour. I have a closet organization video. So make sure to check those out on my channel. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, that notification button, and let's go ahead and get started. So first I want to go into a general overview of the closet and the biggest change and what really impacted the way that I now store my handbags throughout my closet and it is the adjustable shelf. So I didn't have adjustable shelves before and now that my shelves are adjustable I was able to create spaces throughout the closet that I could have different handbags, different size handbags and almost have like little sections of handbags. Um, so I would say that having the adjustable shelves has made the biggest difference. I've also been able to change up where I store different handbags. So if you, as you could see, I have a brown section, I have a, a black and gray section, I have my Neverfulls in one spot with my Speedies, and I just really wanted to be able to put things throughout my closet instead of have one dedicated space for handbags. So I would say that made the biggest impact is having adjustable shelves. So I love that I have the adjustable shelves now. Another thing about the shelves is the way that the shelves Shelves are created. I do not worry about paint transfer or anything on the actual handbags. If you watched my previous closet tour, you did notice that I used to put down the um, dust bags underneath the handbag, and that was just to protect the actual handbags from paint or anything from transfer. If the closet were to get really hot or anything like that, humid or something, I would hate for the paint to transfer onto the handbag. With this particular style of closet that I was you know, that I had installed. I don't have to worry about that anymore. So you can see that is another difference that I made here in my closet is I no longer put the um, the dust bags underneath the bag. I just can place the handbags directly on the shelf. So those were probably the biggest impact. But I also just want to show, wanted to show you a general like overview of the way that my handbags are stored. So you can kind of see the way that they're currently throughout my closet. And I really love this way. Like I said, I like to be able to be in any spot of my closet and be able to look up and see a handbag from whichever angle that I'm standing. So the next thing I want to go into is probably my most asked question whenever I share a picture on Instagram of my closet and that is in their dust bags or out of their dust bags. So I will say I have done both but in this particular closet I love having my bags out and out of their dust bags and the reason why is because there are no windows in this closet. I do not have any sunlight coming through, any natural light coming through. I do not have to worry about fading or anything like that um, and so that is why I am able to leave my bags out of their dust bags if you have a window in your closet if you do blackout curtains or something like that you will be fine but if you have a window and you're not going to cover it you want that natural light to come through I do recommend keeping them in their dust bags it would there I wouldn't necessarily say it would damage the the handbags but you do run the possibility of tanning them on one side. You do run the possibility of fading certain handbags. And so there are a few different cons that you could run into if you do have a window in your closet. But because I don't have any windows in my closet, I love having my handbags out. I'm able to see them, but I'm also able to change them out on a regular basis. I also get asked how often I change my handbags. And honestly, it's based on outfits. So I can change my handbag every day. Sometimes I even change it multiple day, multiple times throughout the day. If I'm at meetings or whatnot, I'm carrying one handbag and then I come home and we go to dinner as a family, I'll carry another bag to dinner. So I change my handbags out pretty regularly. I highly recommend if your closet allows you to, to have your handbags out. Not only, like I said, you're able to walk into your space and see your beautiful handbags, see the collection that you worked really hard for, um, but also you're able to, like I said, actually use your handbags. Have you ever pulled out a pair of shoes from a box or a bag from a dust bag and forgot you actually owned that item? That is so me and that is part of the reason why I started having everything out. I 
I like to have my shoes out. I like to have my bags out. In my previous closet, I did store everything, but that was more because of space. And now that I have the space to have everything out, I really, really, really enjoy having them out where I can see them, where I can use them, and change them out as often as I need. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is how I clean my handbags. Now, I don't have some crazy trick to do for the leather ones, the canvas ones. I have one really easy way to clean your handbags. Now, I will say when it comes to like Louis Vuitton, for instance, if you have the Vaquetta and stuff, I don't do anything to treat my Vaquetta uh, pieces at all. I let them kind of do their own natural thing. I let them tan on their own. If they get water spots or whatever, I let them really kind of just do their own. I let them kind of evolve into whatever they're meant to evolve into. I don't do Apple Guard or anything like that. Not that anything is wrong with that. That is just not what I want to do with my canvas bags. I just prefer, like I said, for them to go through the natural process that they were meant to go through. So the item that I use to clean all of my handbags, whether it's leather, whether it's canvas, is these water wipes. So I've, I, I've actually showed these before in a couple of different videos, but I still get asked because obviously not everybody has watched at least some of my older videos, but these I highly recommend. I personally use these for basically everything in my household. So I keep these in my car. I keep a package of these in my car and I use them on my leather seats. Sometimes you might get like denim transfer on your leather seats because I have the light leather seats. Um, this works perfectly to remove that. Even just like sticky hands, sticky fingers, um, or even like if we were out to go get ice cream and the, before I let my boys get in the car, I will wipe their hands with these. So these are great for baby wipes, which is really what they're meant for, but they're great for older kid wipes. So like I I said I use these for my boys all the time yes they are older they are not babies I use these in the car I use these in the kitchen so the boys will use one of these every day after school and wipe out their lunchbox before they put their lunchbox away in the pantry. Um, I use these for the dog, so if I need to wipe their paws, if they were outside and it was muddy outside or sandy or dirty or whatever it was, they got stuff on their paws, I will use these on their paws. Because they are literally 99.9% .9 water and 0.1% fruit extract, I do not worry about them on the boys, I do not worry about them on the dogs, but I also do not worry about them on any of my handbags. Now, I know this video is not about how to clean your family and how to clean your house. But I do want to let you guys know. So the reason why I wanted to say this is because I ordered these by the case. I'll put the case down below. You'll save a little bit of money because these can add up if you buy them like individually at like Target or something like that. Because you can, you can find these at Target. But they can add up if you buy them individually because they're pretty expensive. But I highly recommend these. Like I said, I use these on the canvas of my handbags. I use these on the uh, bean treated leather. I use these on my leather handbags. I even use these on the vaquetta if I get something on the vaquetta. If I do not get anything on the vaquetta, I just leave the vaquetta alone. Like I said, I really don't want to manipulate the vaquetta in any sort of way, but I also use these to clean the inside of my handbag. So if the inside of my handbags gets dusty or whatever it is, I will also use these to clean the inside of my handbags and it works like a dream. They're so easy. Like I said, it's mostly water, so they're very gentle on your handbags. Um, and I highly recommend that. Oh, I also use these as a makeup wipe sometimes. So like if I'm traveling and I just want to carry one thing, I don't want to carry a makeup wipe and something like this, I will just take these. These work perfectly to remove your makeup, especially if you're sensitive. Um, but these are just so great. Like I said, I'll link them down below if you want to buy them by the case. Like I said, I keep one in the kitchen, one in the car, one in my closet, one in my office. They're all over the house because we use them for so many different things and this is what I the only thing that touches my luxury handbags and the only thing that touches my luxury shoes because I am okay with this there's no alcohol or anything in these at all and I highly 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 recommend them so the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is how I stuff my handbags whenever they are being stored in my closet, basically whenever they're not being used. So however you store your handbags, how I stuff them so that they keep their shape, they don't flatten and lose their shape or whatnot. And it is super easy. So I know a lot of people probably think it's something that might cost money or might be just kind of like a pain or whatever it is. It is so easy and it's free. So everything that I'm about to show you, I have gotten for free and let me explain. So let me show you guys what I use. It is called 
air paper. So I use, there are tons of different sizes of air paper. Um, mostly you're going to see them like rectangular or whatnot, but also you can use bubble wrap. Every single piece of this air paper I received for free in a package or delivery of something that I order. So I prefer the bubble wrap that is a little bit larger and then I like to wrap it and fold it into these kind of shapes so that you can stuff like two or three of these in a speedy or whatnot and it really keeps the shape. This particular one I've got two or three of these in my Lady Dior and so this one is just at the top of my Lady Dior keeping the shape. Um, so this one I actually keep in the front of my Pochette Matisse. It keeps the shape of the Pochette Matisse. It allows me to kind of like button it and, and button it really really easy since it doesn't have anything in it. Um, I do two or three of these in my Speedy 30s and they're perfect. So again every single one of these were completely free. I just pay attention to deliveries that I get or anything that comes in the mail and I check it. So a lot of times you'll get a delivery, you'll pull out what you ordered and you'll throw everything away. Don't do that. Pull everything out because a lot of times there is nice big bubble wrap at the very bottom of the package to basically protect the package on the bottom. You'll have one or two layers of bubble wrap. You'll have the things that you ordered and then you'll have like paper or something on the top or maybe or air paper or something on the top. Check the bottom of your deliveries like I said a lot of time you're gonna find the these and there are usually almost always some sort of air paper in um, in deliveries that I get another option is crafts paper now I will say every single one of my handbags has air paper in it except my Gucci super mini my Gucci super mini does have craft paper in it but that's only because um, I haven't found any air paper that is small enough yet to fit that bag um, if I were to find or when I find a piece of air paper or bubble wrap that I could fold up and put inside that perfectly uh, size like that small of a bag I will switch it out but do know that craft paper definitely is an option that is also something that you're gonna get in delivery so there are definitely options. Whenever I am looking for something to stuff my bag, I really pay attention that there isn't any color on it. So you can see, yes, there's a little bit of color, but that's really built into the plastic. There isn't any like paint or ink on it, if that makes sense. Something that is going to color transfer the interior of my bags. I have never had any problems using air paper um, stuffing my bags. I've been doing this for a very long time. It's free and it works. It really does the job. Because these are like moldable and shapeable, you're going to be able to fit them in basically every single size and shape of bag that you have. Um, yes, you might have to put four or five pieces or three or four pieces in one handbag, but it's free and it does the job. So I have no problems doing it. And what I do is let's say that I have smaller air paper. I'll use Use that until I get a piece of larger pa air paper in a delivery or something and then I'll just swap it out. Let's say that I have two or three of these in the bag and then I get one of these in delivery I'll just swap these out and put this one in the bag if that makes sense. So obviously I want to do as few pieces in a bag as possible but at the end of the day, the most important thing is finding something to stuff my bags and make sure that it's not going to ruin the interior of the bags or do anything. And I don't want to spend a lot of money. Yes, there are options out there. I know there are great options out there, but especially if you have a larger collection, that can get really expensive to find pillows or whatever it is to stuff all of your handbags. So me personally, I use air paper. It's free and it does the job and I love it. So that is it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had fun kind of going through the different changes that I've made in the closet as far as how I store my handbags. I hope you guys found some tips and tricks that will work out for you guys on how to clean your bags, how to protect your bags, how to stuff your bags, whatever it is. I hope you found something in this video that was helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, that notification button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. I hear you breathe, but I can't see If you're right here next to me Something's wrong, wasn't it fun? Is it now we're done?